Hi, I'm Carla, and this is Carla Codes. Today, we're gonna talk about the five mistakes novice programmers make, and I've totally been there, and I completely know what you're going through. So let's talk about it. So the first and biggest mistake that I've seen novice programmers make, and I've made this mistake as well, is biting off more than you can chew with projects. And by that, I mean, thinking of this great and awesome project you want to build, the next coolest Silicon Valley startup, and your skills might not be there yet. And while it can be an, an awesome learning experience, it can lead to frustration if you don't have the fundamentals down and if you have this great vision for what you want to build and you're just struggling to get there. So my advice to you is break it down into smaller, more modular chunks and it's going to be a lot more of a manageable project and a manageable goal. So instead of saying, you know, I have this giant thing I want to build, break it down. All right, uh, let's say you want to build a dynamic front end. Okay, let's do that in React. Okay, we need to master HTML, CSS, React, components, so on and so forth. So when you have a clear vision of how you're going to do it, the goal becomes significantly more manageable. I know it sounds really, really great to make, you know, the Uber of cat delivery by yourself when you're starting out. But that can lead to frustration. If the second biggest mistake I see novice programmers do is jumping from one project to the next really quickly and leaving a bunch of half-finished projects. In there, you start building something, you're halfway done, and now you have a cool new idea for something else you want to build. This in itself isn't absolutely horrible. It's better to start a project, learn from it, then, and half not finish it, than to not do anything at all but it can lead to a lot of frustration and it looks really good on your portfolio when you have a finished product. Even if it's not the most glamorous thing in the world, at least it's something on your portfolio. So instead of jumping from one thing to the next, if you get frustrated or if you're stuck, stop, ask for help, see where your uh, problem is stemming from and try to make progress from there instead of just going from one thing to the next especially if it's a different language stack. You don't want to start over again uh, learning new languages. It's a big thing to say like, I did this. I can show this to you. Isn't this cool? The third mistake I've noticed is not working through the fundamentals enough. I find that that's where most of the frustration comes from because say you're working on a project and you're getting stuck on the smaller things that usually means that you haven't mastered the fundamentals yet. So before you go and you build your big project, make sure that you can do everything involved on your own and with the little as little help as possible. So by help, I mean, you know, Googling, Stack Overflow, constantly going back to documentation, which isn't a bad thing. It's part of the learning process, but you want to make sure you have those fundamentals mastered first. Next, and this is something that I still have trouble with, is getting stuck and not asking for help. When I say when you get stuck, I mean you have Googled it, you don't understand it, you've maybe uh, read some Stack Overflow threads, you've read a bunch of help threads, and you still don't understand it, and it still doesn't work. This is the time that you need to ask for help. And even if you don't you know, personally know a software developer or someone else that develops in that language go to the internet ask for help go on twitter go on i know code newbies is extremely helpful and dm me on twitter i will help you out <laughs> if you have a problem on code wars free code camp uh, code academy anything javascript python java uh, c plus plus i have tons of experience in a bunch of different languages if you need help reach out and i will help you out and reach out to other people too. I know that if you post a problem on Twitter that you're having, there's always going to be someone out there that's going to want to help you. Lastly, this is a really big problem with anything, is not practicing enough. Learning to code is no different than learning a new language, new spoken language. You need to practice every day. And even if it's just 15 minutes, just like when you learn 
a new spoken language, it's that repetition that gets it in your brain and it makes it stick. So focus on setting aside maybe 30 minutes every day to say, all right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to practice these fundamentals and I'm going to put time towards my project or towards uh, your portfolio, so on and so forth. I hope you found this advice helpful. Uh, I hope you found this advice helpful and let me know what you want to talk about next in the comments and like and subscribe for more. Thank <laughs> you.